Since the National ID project took effect in 2004, only 400 identity cards have been produced, but to only high-profile Ugandans. Government signed a contract with the German company Mulba, worth 64 million euros, about 200 billion Uganda shillings. Due to the delay into the implementation of the project, Parliament directed the Defence and Internal Affairs Committee of Parliament to probe the award of the contract to Mulba. And this afternoon, the committee has finally tabled this report which implicates former ministers and the permanent secretary in the mismanagement of the 200 billion project. Those implicated include former Attorney General Professor Kidu Makubuya, former Internal Affairs Minister Kirunda Kivejinja, former ICT State Minister John Chrysostom Adintu Masambu, and the current permanent secretary of Internal Affairs Ministry, Dr. Stephen Kagoda. Mulba company was irregularly procured. The government failed to adhere to the PPDA regulations and laws, occasioning certain losses which should have been avoided altogether. And as such, the personnel, the officers, the officials, both political and technical, who have been named in the report according to their levels of responsibility, be penalized, including taking full responsibility for occasioning or mismanaging that process. The former minister, Mr. Alin Tuma Nsambu, who for some reason consistently lied to this committee. That's evidence that has everything to do with this matter. And here he's also running to come to parliament and be a member of parliament. Do we want thieves in parliament? Uganda is tired of public thieves. We have the PS, internal affairs, scandal, scandal after scandal. Now, for some reason, he consistently rejected the advice of the PPDA. We have already come up with what you call the anti-corruption bill, which is going to be so stringent and so tough, which will be able to deal with these unscrupulous and corrupt people who are trying to spoil the good intentions of the government. The report recommends that former minister Ali Kirunda Kivedinja, as the overall political head, should take full responsibility for the anomalies and the losses incurred. It also recommends that investigation should be carried out relating to the funding of trips to Germany by former ICT State Minister John Chrysostom Nsambu. That Nsambu falsified titles of his two associates as ministry technical officials and traveled with them to Germany to assess Murba, the company which was single-sourced contrary to the PPDA guidelines. Nsambu is currently battling for the Bukoto South parliamentary by-elections. It has also recommended that the former Attorney General, Professor Kidu Makubia, takes full responsibility for the irregular clearance of the procurement of the company in total disregard of PPDA guidelines. The Permanent Secretary, Dr. Stephen Kagoda, has not been spared either. Others to be investigated is Igara East County MP Mike Mawanda Muranga for his business interest in a company called Contec and the National Security Information System. The report, however, exonerates former Finance Minister Saida Bumba from any wrongdoing and Bank of Uganda. It is coming at a time when the government of Uganda is proposing a cost sharing to print national IDs for all Ugandans. My message, you have so much to do with your money. Please do not spend even a coin, not even 100 shillings, on supporting the ID project. We must first get an explanation and have the 200 billion returned. It's something parliament is going to reject and fight. We want government to provide free IDs to its population like other countries. Jingo Francis. NTV Parliament.